All right, what's going on, guys? It's Cubby Kamikaze, a.k.a. Quasi, a.k.a. whatever you want to call me. <laughs> if you know my real name, you know my real name. You know, whatever, whatever. Now, um, today, I really wanted to stream, but at the same time, I kind of just really didn't feel like it. <laughs> so, today, I decided, I was like, man, I'm just going to... I'm just going to um do a little story time. And this is something very different for me because I'm literally just looking at my screen <laughs> on Audacity, just talking to the mic, you know, not looking at anything, but literally my screen. But um, yeah, this is something very new to me. This is something that we'll probably do all the time, you know, just on random days or whatever. And um, I literally just recorded some gameplay of, of Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. So, you know, you're probably watching that as you're hearing me talk. So, today, um, what story we're going to talk about today is the first time I've ever experimented with marijuana, weed, whatever you want to call it, Mary Jane, Sticky Icky. I don't know what niggas be calling it nowadays. Niggas back then used to call it Reefa, but... Everybody nowadays is called a weed. So today is going to be the first day I ever experimented with weed. Now, um, this story took place around late 2019. That's right. It's 2022. I started off kind of late. I didn't start off. I didn't start off at a, you know, early age at like 16 or whatever. I started off at the high age of 19, which is still young to a lot of people because i'm literally about to be 22 in a couple of days so hey but um yeah this took around 2019 i forgot what month but yeah around that time and just to let y'all know i did not write a script down i'm literally just talking from the top of my head so if i go all over the place that's why but yeah um Around this time, it was, uh, where was I at? I was at my local community college, and um, I had a couple of friends there. I had a couple of friends that used to go with me to high school, and, you know, everybody is, is there. So, um, one friend in particular, <laughs> he um, was able to get some gummy bears. Now, obviously, from the title of the video and what I just said before, these aren't ordinary gummy bears. These was fucking edibles. <laughs> these was edibles. And, and at the time of me not ever experimenting with fucking weed, this is my first time ever experimenting. And as a, as a, um, I'm about to say as a professional, as a beginner, I don't understand how edibles work differently than um smoking so he came up to me and he asked me if i wanted to ever get high and i told him i was like yeah you know i guess i could try it because you know why not it's it's not bad to try things you know you know i wouldn't try things like fucking crack or meth or anything like that i wouldn't try that but weed everybody tried weed one time in their life so why not so, um, I forgot how much they was. I'm pretty sure it was like $20 or whatever. I, I pretty, probably more than that. I don't know. I forgot. Um, so I paid for the gummy bears and bro handed me the gummy bears in like a tin container, a tin container. And I didn't expect that. I expect it to be in a bag, but he handed me this shit literally in a tin container. <laughs> so, um, I uh, took it home and, you know, I waited for the right moment to use it, obviously, because I was, I'm living with my parents um, at the time. And, uh, you know, I didn't want them to know that their son was, you know, <laughs> getting high. So I waited till around nighttime to uh, try it. And uh, I remember I tried one at a time. And like I said before, this is my first time ever eating an edible, ever, ever experimenting with weed. So I didn't know what was going to happen. I didn't know how I was going to feel. I didn't know any effects of this, <laughs> this substance. So um, 
I took one gummy bear, and uh, nothing happened, obviously, because it was an edible. And, you know, a couple, like, probably like around five or ten minutes passed by, and I took another one. And I still didn't feel anything. So this was kind of weird, because I heard, I seen a lot of stories, and um, listened to a lot of stories that people say they'll usually get in like 30 minutes. Well, 30 minutes passed by, I'm thinking... And I still didn't really feel nothing. So I took one more gummy bear. As a beginner, I don't even know how many milligrams was in this. Like I said, I didn't even ask any questions, y'all. I just took the edibles just because, you know. So three gummy bears down. I'm pretty sure they was like, uh, I don't know. They, they, they kicked a lot, though. They kicked a lot. Because what I'm about to tell you right now is crazy. So after I had that that third gummy bear, I was just sitting down um on my computer and I was watching uh I was watching a funny movie. What was I watching? I was watching Don't Be a Menace in South Central. I was watching that. And South Don't Be a Menace is already a funny movie. We already know that. But this movie <laughs> became so funny to me. I don't know what happened, but the movie just became so hilarious. My legs started feeling weird. You know, it, it started twitching. It started vibrating. Matter of fact, my whole body started vibrating. And I was like, oh, man, this is it. <laughs> this is what it feels like to be high. And me being a dumbass... And me not knowing that this is just the beginning. You know, I was I was enjoying myself. I was getting comfortable. Now, I didn't get comfortable to the point that I ate the rest of the gummy bears. Because I was like, man, this is weak. You know, this high ain't nothing. I just, I, I, was, I was fine with the high that I was at. So, um, moving forward, I think around a good uh, 20, 15, 20 minutes. It started kicking in a little harder. Like, at first, it was just like a vibe. But then, it just socked me dead in my chest, dead in my brain. It felt like everything just went boom. And the next thing you know, I'm out of the planet. I'm literally no longer in this dimension. I was gone. And when I tell you I was panicking, like mentally, I was freaking the fuck out. I was panicking so hard, y'all. Like, <laughs> I ain't never felt this feeling before. But I knew I didn't want to feel it anymore at the time. <laughs> so, with me pa um, panicking and all that, you know, I didn't let anybody know that I was panicking. I didn't let none of my friends know. Because at the time, I was texting some of my friends. I was telling them, yo, I'm high as shit, blah, blah, blah. You know, being a being a... A lame nigga, you know, basically telling niggas that I'm high. So, I didn't want them to know that I was actually getting very, very paranoid and, <laughs> and actually losing my shit. So, uh, time was moving by extremely slow. Uh, how else? What else was going on during that time? Um, I was, I started to sweat, obviously. Eyes was being bloodshot red. And at this point, man, I was like, you know what? I, I really can't take this no more. I need to go to the hospital. So what I was literally finna do, what I was literally finna do, I was finna go in my mom's room and I was about to tell her everything that I just did. I was about to tell her that mom, you know, I got high. Uh, I think I need to go to the hospital. I was about to do that. But thankfully, I came to my senses and I told myself, you know what? I got myself into this. I might as well just wait this out like a real nigga. And that's exactly what I did. <laughs> you know, I was really going through it, y'all. I was really going through it my first time. My first trip was crazy. Um, so after all of this, you know, I'm still trying to watch the movie and all that. It, the movie's still kind of funny, you know, but it, it's, it, I feeling so much at the time that, I didn't even want to just, I didn't even want to sit at my computer no more because time was moving by so slow that it was starting to get aggravating. So 
I started up looking ways of how to get sober very fast. And, you know, I saw one post that said, you know, you can take a shower. So best believe what I did, I hopped in the shower. You know, that shower was feeling insanely great. Like (laughs) showering while you're high is the best shower you will ever feel ever. But even after I did that, I still was blowed, obviously. So um, I tried to go to sleep on it. Tried to go to sleep, laid my head down. And the next thing you know, um, <laughs> I literally felt like I was out of my body. Like I literally saw my body in third person. I don't know what these gummy bears, I don't, I don't know if they was pure THC. Shit could have been um lace. Who knows? All I know is, from my experience, I saw my body in third person. No lie. I literally saw my body in third person. I probably died and I came back. Who knows? But at this point, I was like, man, you know what? I can't even go to sleep. I got up and I was like, I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to enjoy this high. So next thing I did after that. I put on uh Devin and Matt go to high school. I put on a, 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 a stoner movie and I actually started to feel better. I actually started to feel better. Once I saw Devin and Matt go to high school, I literally started feeling better because I felt like Wiz Khalifa. Now, going into the time it is now, 2022, obviously I experimented more with the drug, but I don't call myself a pothead at all. I might say it in some songs, but that's because I know the feeling. If I know the feeling of something, I'm going to say it in the song. But, um, yeah, I felt like uh, Wiz Khalifa in that movie, except I didn't turn into a full-on pothead. But I felt him when he first, you know, got high type shit. But, yeah, I was watching um, Mac and Devin go to high school, and next thing you know, it started to ease off. I started to be chill and I was finally able to go to sleep. So next morning, the the story not over with yet. Next morning, I woke up. I'm still high. Now, I'm not high to the point that I can't really move like how I was the following night, but I was still kind of high. So uh, I still had to go to work at the time I was working at my uh, local subway and I was literally making nigga sandwiches hot as fuck. Like literally, I was making these nigga sandwiches. I was I was making these nigga sandwiches hot, y'all. I was going. And uh <laughs> after that day, uh I had a couple gummy bears left. I threw them away because during that night, I think I told God I was like, man, I, I God, I'm not going to get high ever again. That was a lie. But you know. At that time, I, I didn't want to get high at all anymore. So what I did was I threw the other gummy bears away. Now, um, I forgot to say in the beginning of the video that I don't condone any type of drug use, even if it's weed. You know, even if it's something that, you know, a lot of people like it, you know, something that won't hurt you at all, I don't really condone it. You know, if, if you do want to smoke weed, you know, don't do it at an early age. Wait until 19, because I'm pretty sure if I was 16 or 15 or whatever age y'all niggas be starting, I would have been going crazy. I would have definitely told my mom and she would have beat my ass, most likely. I probably would have got kicked up. But yeah, guys, that's basically the end of the story. Um, I hope y'all liked it. I hope I wasn't all over the place. Like I said, I'm literally just talking to my screen right now, looking at my my myself uh talk with the wave limps whatever they call it. but um yeah hopefully we'll do some more story times in the future uh subscribe give the video a like you no know, fuck with my music you know all that other type of stuff and i'll catch you guys later